My name is Adele and welcome to Toadstool House Art. So right now for me it is Monday morning and as you'll know my shop, my Etsy shop went live on Saturday and so miracle of all miracles I have had a few orders <laughs> um, and so I've, I've been packaging them up and I've been packaging them up uh, as nice as I can so I've, I've even stamped the envelopes with some little mushroom designs. So thank you so so much to anyone who bought things for anyone who has liked any of my social media like on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube because like even if you don't buy anything like all the likes and shares like just they really help um, sort of like spread me around social media so thank you so much uh, so I'm going to be going to the post office in a bit uh, probably going to get too warm because it's, it's the weather's warm again now which was weird because it felt kind of autumny a few days ago strange uh but in today's video oh yeah because i've recorded my packing because i wanted to do one of those you know um those really nice packing videos that people do where they show how they package their orders and cute little bags and things so i recorded all of that but since i only just did it the other day um i need to edit it so that won't be in this vlog i'll be in saturday's vlog so if you're interested in that please come back uh, but for today, I'm going to show you how I made these. Now these are little uh, wooden mushrooms that I have been painting. Like, aren't they adorable? There you go, aren't they cute? <laughs> so I've, done, I've only done four colours. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I painted all of them today. And uh, as I mentioned, I think in my last video, uh, I'm doing another watercolour series because I want to do more of those little wooden pins because I, oh they're so nice, I like them so much um, so I wanted to do more I'm not sure what that was <laughs> sorry it was an odd noise um, I wanted to do more but like different designs because I have, a, I have a list of designs that I want to do and I could only do five per order because it depends on the amount you order so I'm going to be doing more so I'm going to show you my first one that I did um, today. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for coming by. Alright, so I'm back with uh, another art piece. Um, for me it's actually been a few weeks to, since I did a watercolour, but sort of video wise it's only been, uh, I think I only did a few vlogs without any watercolour paintings in. Um, but this is another series um, since my last one I liked so much, I did five watercolours and I had them uh, turned into pins, which you'll all have probably seen. Um, they came out so nice um, that I, ha I had to do more because I had um, a few more designs written down that I wanted to try. So this one, as you can see, is strawberries. So I'm just doing this in Procreate like I normally do. I always pretty much start out sketching in Procreate now. It's just so much easier to to move things around and um, you just double click to undo which really takes the pressure off. So I drew out these strawberries and as you can see I just sort of resized things until I got it the way I wanted it. And then using my, um, my what do you call it, 
on my light box. I traced it on, um, but I didn't do any of the detail of the strawberry that was cut in half because I wanted to do that with just the paint. I didn't want any um, sort of like brown outlines. So I just used my light box to, so my sketch would show through and then I did it very, very lightly. You can only just see it really. Um, with a very, very watered down red, I put in sort of the first layer of detail and that's all I really needed to see where, where everything went. And then I've never actually painted a sort of a strawberry cut in half before, so I just took it, you know, quite slow and I did lots and lots of layers. As you see, I just kept going around and I knew this part was going to be the trickiest part, which is why I started with it. Um, because if this part had gone wrong, then it wouldn't have been such a big deal. Uh, to retrace the image. It would have been much better doing it this way than if I'd have painted everything and then had that bit mess up. Um, luckily it came out like quite nice. I, I, I quite like it. Um, and then for the bigger strawberry I'm doing sort of the same thing in my, um, my usual sort of technique where I just very lightly splotch in the colours with like a really watered down version of what I like. Um, and like like for greens I tend to do a very yellowy green as the base coat because I think that makes it more vibrant when you build it up because then you can go on top of that with a more bluey green or another yellowy green and it just really makes it pop so you'll see me add in all sorts of like variations on green in all my leaves I'm um, just keeping things pretty loose because that's that is sort of my style because I think when you have um, the outline do the outlines the way I do it it shows what it is and then you can color in kind of a bit messier because this, you know the outlines keep everything together and here I am just going in with uh, a very very fine uh, chisel brush just to draw the the veins on all the leaves and it took it took me a while because I did end up adding a lot of detail on them yeah, you see these tiny, tiny, tiny little strokes that I did over and over and I had to do them on uh, every leaf and then I had to go over them uh, twice to sort of build up the colour because as you can see it's quite wishy-washy when I first start and then I deepen it up with the, the second go over when it's a teeny, not fully dry but a little bit dry. And then I did a very similar thing on, on the top of the strawberries here. Um, and then I added in all the teeny tiny little seeds with probably one of the smallest brushes I own. Because um, I, I keep buying small brushes, but <laughs> I don't know why I always lose those particular ones. And then final step is just to go around uh, with the same pen I always use to do my outlines because it, it's, it's waterproof. Um, but as you see at the beginning, I do like a very thin line. And then at the end, I, to really make the design pop, I come back and I do it a bit thicker because I've got uh, two thicknesses of pen, so I'll use the thick one and the thin one depending on what kind of line I want. And sometimes I'll add in just the touch of black with a very, very fine, fine liner. Uh, just, just like in the places that have the most shadows. And that was it. And I thought it came out really nice and vibrant. The red is really good. Uh, the green is nice, and I thought, you know, strawberries look kind of inviting. <laughs> I, well, I hope so anyway. And I did get all the detail on the leaves finished. And then you're, you're gonna see um, my cat pop in in a, there he is, yeah. I got the seal of approval from Salem. <laughs> So I made a recent purchase. I saw these little wooden mushrooms online and I had to have them because <laughs> of course I did. So my plan here is to paint just the tops, uh, different colours, um, 
I'm hoping I can use one of these really big Posca pens for the for the spots and I'm going to drill a little hole into the top and make them into keyrings. So I've got these. Uh, I've also got some some varnish here. I've got uh, these are both acrylic varnishes, so I've got a more expensive one, then I've got a sort of cheaper one. Um, I think figure I'll, I'll try both, see which one uh, looks best. So both matte, and I also got these little wooden acorns. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to paint them, but I saw them when I was getting my varnishes, and I think maybe if I paint the tops, maybe put some spots on. And I might even put little faces on them. I think that might be cute. So I've got my huge box of paints right here. There's loads in here. Because uh, I think what I'm going to do is different colours. Maybe not just red capped mushrooms. Maybe like softer oranges and greens and mustard colours. Just to see what they look like. So I've got two packs of these. So yeah, I'm going to get painting.
so I now have my own little uh, personal mushroom forest. <laughs> so I've done two coats of varnish uh, and I'm going to leave these to dry uh, because I need to find out my... Uh, I've got a hand drill, like just a, a mini one. Uh, so I am going to need that to drill the tops of these so I can pop the, uh, the key rings on. Uh, but I can feel these are still slightly tacky, so that's something I'll do later. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do need to remember, though, that with this varnish, it does make the colours darker. Like that green, um, it was more of a sage green, but now it's it's much darker. And so is this, this red. Um, I did have one that went a bit awry. So this one was my first one. And I just, I, went, I was a little too heavy handed with the brush. And as you can see that I've picked up the white Posca pen and I've moved it around. So there we go. So I think I can just paint over this one because this, this color was straight out of the tub. So I don't need to like match it or anything. And then I can probably just redo this one. Um, Because the ones I did before where I uh, I messed up with the varnish, I've just been able to repaint over one of them. And I can't actually tell which ones they are anymore, so it worked. But yeah, these are going to make such nice little bag charms. <laughs> I got all the uh, the loops on. Um, unfortunately, I could not find my little um, my little hand drill. So what I did instead is I took uh, this sculpting you uh, tool, which has been used for pretty much everything, which is why it's well, it's not focusing, which is why it's still covered in glue because I use this for all sorts. And what I did was I just poked a hole in the top of each one just just to get the it the screw started. And then I just, as you saw with my pliers, I just screwed these in. So not ideal, but like it works just fine. So yeah, I think these are looking good. Um, some of the more uh, observant of you may have noticed there are in fact a few less than when I started. Um, that's because some time has passed between me filming uh, this bit. Uh, and I, I showed these to people and everyone was like oh they're so cute i want one so <laughs> i've actually sold several of them particularly the uh, the red ones uh those do seem to be people's favorite which i'm not surprised like they're my favorite too uh, and i even sold one of the must mustard colored ones so yeah i mean it's nice to know that they people do do like them and it's not just me that thinks they're pretty <laughs> but i haven't even got these up on etsy yet <laughs> and i'm like i'm like half of them are gone <laughs> Um, I'm actually not 100% sure whether I should put them on Etsy because due to sort of like how thick they are um, I've got to sort of think about how you know how much I'm spending on postage and these take them over the uh, was it two and a half centimeters you can get for is it a small packet so I'm not sure whether I'll put these in the shop or I mean I probably should um, I will think about it, <laughs> but um, since they've been like so popular already, uh, I have ordered a bunch more of the of these of the blanks. Um, oh wait, right? Yeah, I've just remembered. I haven't ordered this part, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to order these as well. Uh, they were probably not gonna arrive for a while because they do come quite far. 
but yeah i'm <laughs> i'm really happy with the way they turned out and i'm so glad people like them uh, i might not do so many of the greens they don't seem to be as popular but i will have to paint up uh, a lot more reds um, and i would like to do uh, some funky colors as well <laughs> so yeah it's like i've got my own little forest <laughs> Oh, well, it's only water. <laughs> so I've just got back in from the post office. There was a queue. <laughs> and it is crazy warm out there. It's like summer again. It's it's really weird considering how cold I was a few days ago. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this vlog. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me painting my little... Um, I've moved them now. My little <laughs> um, wooden mushrooms. Um, yeah, I'll have to think whether the postage is worth putting them in the Etsy shop or not. Sorry, there's a cat messing around. <laughs> so yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!